on the final episode. We'll continue our journey through Zimbabwe by visiting Mande Village for the Nambia tribe. Enjoy a proper feast and drum dance and take a cruise along the Zambezi River to enjoy one last spectacular sunset to end this epic adventure. Zimbabwe, a land of beauty and resilience, has a rich cultural heritage that has endured through the ages. This country is a testament to the ingenuity of its people. Despite facing numerous challenges, Zimbabweans have demonstrated unwavering determination and a deep sense of community spirit. Let's explore the heart and soul of this mesmerizing place, overcoming challenges and discovering the beauty of this mystical destination. Get ready for an unforgettable journey filled with breathtaking landscapes, delicious cuisine, and the spirit of resilience that defines Zimbabwe. You're watching Chasing Sunsets. I'm Mr. Impala, the head of the village. You are welcome, guys. Whenever we think of Zimbabwe, you come visit Mr. Impala and the, the community at large. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Africa. Real Africa side of it. Mm. We're going to take a tour. Thank you. Hello. Yabo. So we're going on a... Uh, he's giving me a VIP tour. Yeah. We're going to go see where how he makes a phone call. Yeah. He, the chief, only is the only person with a cell phone. Yeah. And he is the one who communicates to the whole entire district of what he needs to get done. And he's going to show me how he, he communicates to everyone. Very cool. Okay. Okay. Here's my cell phone. <laughs> this is your cell phone? Yes. Oh. Don't need any batteries, no charges, yes, 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 yes. No but what happens is like, um, when I have to call the community for a meeting, uh -huh. I have to hit this gong at 6 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Secondly, it will be at 8 o'clock. Lastly, it will be at 9 o'clock. Okay. Everybody would have gone under that green top pod mahogany. Well, we, I saw you, yeah. We respect that um, as our courtroom. Mm. It's our, you know, no matter it's under a tree, mm. we respect that. Right. Secondly, when we are to attend a funeral, mm. I have to hit this gong for five full minutes non-stop that is an emergency you, you hit five for five minutes you gotta hit it yeah like dong 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 but if you hit it now they're gonna be like they're no, gonna no, no, no. they're gonna come yeah don't do it anyway yeah uh that is two ways how do i call the community to come together oh yes. wait that was one way what's the other way the other way i said uh, when it is a general meeting as it yeah. was. Yeah. I had to hit this gong at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Secondly, it will be at eight o'clock. Yeah. Lastly, it will be at nine o'clock. Mm. And we have to go and under that port mahogany. Everybody comes. Yes. And how many people total? Um actually we do not have a straight total. This is your cell phone. <laughs> what happens is like some might come, some do not have some excuse. Right. Then at the end of the day, uh, maybe average number. Mm. It's uh, um 120 to 200 mm. average you have 200 people here more than and they can hear you from yes, where yes boom. this gong can go well, uh, you can't just go i'm the chief <laughs> yeah. i'm the chief come here no you can't do that no, no. Oh, okay one minute okay. one minute oh awesome yes. fun fact the nambia people are an ethnic group of about 100,000 yeah. people based in the northwestern part of Zimbabwe. Fun fact number two. The village is known for its traditional dance and music, which are essential part of the Nambia culture. This is nice. This is the kitchen. <laughs> this is an important room. Uh -huh. We cook here, eat here, and life, I can say, let me say this, life starts here and it ends here. Yes, the kitchen, always. Yes, kitchen. Every right? culture, yes, it's always. Yeah. It's like, um, This is, that was breakfast. Yes, this is breakfast. And then rice? Yes. Rice. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. How many people do you have to feed? Mm, 
Four people. Four people every day? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. Thank you so much. What is your name? Candy. Candy. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> the queen. <laughs> the queen. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you allowing me. Okay. What is your favorite thing about living? Good to you. 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 She's saying to you, there is freedom living in this particular place. You've got no one bothering you about water bills, electricity bills. It's your land. You do grow your own crops. Wow. So I, uh, very humbling. So I'm right now on the, the, the outskirts of Zimbabwe. I asked my tour guide to take me to like a local village and I wanted to, you know, see if I can, you know, donate a little bit or just, just meet the local people, just come out here and meet the local people and see what's up. So they just, this is what they do. This is their community. They actually had a meeting. I didn't record it because I didn't want to disturb their meeting, but this is what they live. So they, the family, it always surrounds around the kitchen. It's amazing. Juvari Mira. Juvari Mira. Thank you. That means you're watching Chasing Sunsets. Oh, I yo, Ababo Dule. Oh, I yo, Baba Ute. Oh, I yo, Baba Dule. Ah, you go. I don't know. Ah, you go. I can't say it. Is that the same? You don't know that one? Have you heard this? What that's all, that's all I know. <laughs> I say Africa. You, kind of, right? Is that right? You missed my singing. I just sang a song for everybody. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, yo! <laughs> the sound correct? No, I don't know. I don't know. You okay. can fit. How are you, sir? Fine, and you, my dear? Oh, yes. Thank you for having me. Sure. This sure. is uh, sure. a very privilege and honor. And, uh, I'm I wasn't expecting to come today. And then, so how big can your community become? We are a group of about uh, nine villages. Okay. Mr. Banner being senior. Yes. Yes. Nine nine villages all to one. So you have nine no, chiefs. Yes. No, sub chiefs. Sub chief, but you're the top chief. Yes, mom, number one chief right here. Yes, You're talking to the top dog, <laughs> the big dog. <laughs> when you were growing up as a child, mm -hmm. a young young man coming yeah. up, what was your favorite place to go see a sunset? Okay, most of the times by then, not a not a mountain, but yes. a hill. Yes, whereby you, you, we could go there. Yes. And then just, watch, you watch the sunset, right? The sunset. Beautiful. Yeah, you know? And you learn so much about people. You learn about the community, yeah. locals, and you appreciate yes. life, where I come from. And I appreciate this. You know, I wish more people would do this. So I spent the day just wandering around the village, introducing myself, making friends with everybody, and uh, really just appreciating uh, their culture and allowing me the chance to meet with them. Thank you. <laughs> I am the chief. Right. Say it. I am the chief. And you are watching. And you are watching. Chasing sunset. Chasing sunset. Yes, go. Chief. Say it one more time. Yeah, I am the chief. And you are watching this uh, chasing sunset. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we are here at the edge of Zimbabwe. We're about to go on a beautiful dinner cruise. Uh, we got we got uh, a three course meal. Across the river is Zambia, and so we are uh, going to enjoy the sunset, get, get, uh, get some good get some good vibes, and all you can drink. Fun fact. The Zambezi River is home to one of the largest populations of hippos in the world. 
It is estimated that there are over 70,000 hippos living in and around the river. So me and my new friend Devin enjoyed a beautiful night on the Zambezi, just enjoying food, great conversation, and perfect weather for another perfect sunset. My first sunset here is Zimbabwe. There's an old saying in Zimbabwe, as the sun sets, so too does all worry disappear. You know that, right? Asian no raisin. He's a quarter Asian. I'm 100%, baby. Look at this weather. We just hit it perfectly. It was actually slightly drizzling, but look at it now. So over there is Victoria Falls. Here are some proverbs from Zimbabwe we could all live by. You cannot tell a hungry child that you gave him food yesterday. Meaning, the past is gone, always live in the present. A grilled locust is better than no soup. Meaning, always appreciate the little you have because it's better than nothing. Until the lion tells his side of the story, the tale of the hunt will always glorify the hunter. Meaning, always hear from both sides before concluding. A ripened fruit does not cling to the vine. Meaning, when your time is right, no one can stop. Chris Rock used to say, you know, life is, life is short. No. Life is long, especially when you make the wrong decisions. <laughs> Worse to live by, my friend. <laughs> Alright, final night here in Zimbabwe. We're going to have a nice little drum and fire dance. Get excited. I hear the party going on. We're here at the Boma. I got a dress code. What do you call this? Shitenge. A shitenge? Yes. Thank you. That's okay. our traditional beer. Okay. Made up of maize, millet, and sorghum. Mm. And it's brewed for seven days. Yes. Yes. So just a short. Is it but so has it alcohol? Alcohol. Four percent alcohol. Oh, Jabubu. Yes. How do so, how do they make it? Actually it's a mixture. They mix maize, millet, and sorghum uh -huh. and they leave it in maybe for seven days. Mm. Seven days. So it will be like really Cheers. Yeah. To Jabubu. Yeah. Cheers to Jabubu. Okay, thank you. Jabubu. <laughs> so for my final night in Zimbabwe, I had a feast fit for a king. All these different selections of meats, foods, Jabubu, anything I could ever want. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in, I'm doing it. Dear Africa, as the vibrant hues of orange, red, and gold dance across your sky, I am filled with a sense of bittersweet longing. It is time to bid you farewell, but I do so with a heart full of gratitude. 
Thank you for the friendships we have formed. Thank you for the laughter. And thank you for the incredible adventures that have left an indelible mark on my soul. As I journey on, I take comfort in the knowledge that I will always carry a piece of you with me. And to the ones that come after, there's always a beautiful sunset somewhere. You just have to go find it. Yes. Chasing Sunsets.